Good morning, good morning, hello. Good morning, everybody. Good morning, good morning. Hi, Ultramion. Hi, Tom. Hi, Thomas. Sorry I'm late, y'all. I uh, I woke up late, so I pushed the stream for about 15 minutes, and then I ended up realizing, oh, wait, no, I'm still late. <laughs> good morning, everybody. How's everyone doing today? Just updating everything. I woke up super late today. Thank you. Oh god, I forgot that was a button press. Ah, my ears. Anyway. Hi everybody. <laughs> uh, how are you guys doing today? Uh, just give me one second. Update my Yep, updating this, updating this, updating that, this that 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 this that that this. Alright. Yeah, I know. I got it. It's really loud. I know. I'm sorry. I forgot. I forgot to fix my settings from yesterday. Okay, let's try this again, shall we? Good morning. Good morning, everyone. Hey, how is everyone doing today? Uh, I woke up late, so uh, I'm still gonna be eating my breakfast while we play. I uh. uh <laughs> my poor breakfast, it's coagulated because I was also like getting dressed and stuff. I woke up late, I was like, oh, I have time to take a shower, I have time to make breakfast, I have time to put my makeup on for the day. Uh, I was right about two things, maybe. <laughs> so I'm having my breakfast. Mm. But anyway, oops. I'll see if you guys can hear this all right. All right. So we last time we left off, we decided to uh, abandon Harpe and her pursuits of taking care of us and explore her many rooms that we never got the chance to do so before because she uh, she uh, completely, totally unlived us. 
So, uh, yeah. So now we're kind of avoiding her. Drinking Canada Dry, aka ginger ale. I love ginger ale. Canada Dry is really good. Shrubs is good too. Uh, but, uh, yeah. So, uh, we're gonna recollect. 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 Mm-hmm. Last time we left off, we were at Hollow. The room called Hollow. Mm, I have no idea what's gonna happen, so, uh, let's get into it. Hi, Freya! Hi, Dark Cacao! Good morning, good morning! Good morning, sister. Good morning, dear sister of mine, yes. Mm. I am all over the place. Alright. Took a couple of bites of my up. I made cornmeal porridge. Very quickly, very good. I have like two recipes for cornmeal porridge. I have like the quick, easy to make, like single serving recipe. And then I have like a whole like big pot of warm, delicious, like comfort food goodness recipe. You can probably tell which one I made this morning. <laughs> but I digress. All right, so last time we left off, we just came to this room. We've been dipping and dodging Harpe as well. I don't even think she knows that we haven't been following her. So, uh, wait, how do I? All right. I done forgot. I done haven't played this game in two weeks. I almost forgot the controls. An old telephone rests unused. It's cord leading to nowhere. A pumpkin charm. I'm getting all these pumpkin charms. They're so cute. Chandelier. I mean, not chandelier. Candelabra. You're the trouble, miss. Is something wrong? What do you mean? You seem to be hesitating. Okay, I like your name. I'll call you K-Chan. Oh, thank you. That's very sweet. I like my name too. <laughs> I like your name, Dark Cacao. It's super cool. So I did the thing with the language I'm making where it doesn't have any purely labial consonants. Ooh, neat. That's not good, little girl. You mustn't doubt yourself. This is your time to move forward. What are you talking about, pumpkin? Never mind. This is just one old pumpkin's rambling speech. Okay, so let's see. Should we go left or right? I'm gonna go... Let's see, that's the moon. That's a star. Should we go to the moon door or the star door? I don't think you can lose really either way, so I'm gonna go... To, I'm gonna go to the moon door. Moon! A statue of a smiling cherub is planted in the center of a parlor. Its surface completely smooth. I can hear a strange sound noise coming from the right wall. Oh, I'm scared. The painting of a red rose. It's image distorted by the shattered frames glass. That's sad. Hello? I can hear a strange noise coming from the right wall. Will it kill me? No. Alright, well, that's knocking there. Alright. Uh, this is rare among languages that's not unheard of. Neat. You did a cool thing. Awesome. Awesome sauce buckets. Alright. Oh, fuck me sideways and frontways. Oh, uh, what is this? A statue of a mutilated cherub rests in a puddle of blood. I wonder who did this. Mm, I can hear a strange noise coming from the left wall. Something's in the middle then. Oh, man. This is... This is even louder. Okay, so there's nothing there, I guess. So that's knocking. Oh, here we go. What is this sound? Uh, you know, we already we we just came in from save. I'm not gonna spastically save. Every time you meow, then you're cute. Oh, meow! <laughs> the wall is hollow. Up, oh, let's rip it off like a bandaid, y'all. Oh, there's a hidden door behind this really pretty wallpaper we literally just ripped off the wall. Hmm. Disgusting little vandals, aren't we? <laughs> um. What are you? Oh, here we go. Here's the shitty room. Harpe. Harpe. We ran into her. Okay. Harpe. Harpe, are you alright? 
Oh, yeah, of course I am. Birthday, it's your birthday, Paperface. Happy freaking birthday. Let's go. Happy birthday, happy birthday, happy birthday, happy birthday, happy birthday, happy birthday to you. Yay, let's go. Happy birthday, Paperface. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Let's go. Everybody say happy birthday to Paperface in chat. It's Paperface's birthday. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. And if you're just saying happy birthday, just say happy birthday. Then happy birthday. <laughs> happy birthday to anybody out there who's watching. If it's your birthday. <laughs> Yippee. Let's go. Well, her face crying. Let's go back into the story. But happy birthday, Paperface. Congratulations for getting one year older. Hmm. How does it feel to be one year older? Does it feel good? Are you feeling old yet? <laughs> I just, I just. Happy birthday. How exciting. It's your birthday. It's your birthday. Let's see. Uh, well, of course I am. What happened? Are you hurt? No, not at all. I'm fine, miss. There's no need to worry. But you don't seem fine to me. Let me help you, Harpe. Can you stand? I told you I'm fine. But I just wanted to help you. Happy birthday, paper face. It's so exciting. Leave me be. I can do this on my own. Hi, gamer lover. Hello, hello. Ah, I want to help her anyway. I can't just leave you there. Let me help you. No, stay away. Oh, you're alright? Does it hurt anywhere? I told you I didn't need your help. But I... And where have you been all this time? I feel like I want to drink alcohol already. I'm not even close to legal age. Do it when you're legally aged! That way you don't get in trouble. <sighs> Better when you do it legally anyway. I thought today was Amori. Nope, today is Pocky Mirror. Last week was Amori. Also, I was gonna be a Mori, but uh, I, I I got I got coerced, I got gently coerced into playing uh, more nine nine nine, um zero escape the nunnery games nine 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 with uh Cal, when I was supposed to play this. So you know, <laughs> my schedule is always subject to change. You guys know this. This is why I, I think this is one of the reasons why I don't bother writing it down anymore because it's just like, or setting up a real schedule anymore because it's just like, it don't matter because it's always subject to change in case things don't work. <laughs> So, uh, yeah, but let's keep going. Let's keep going. Let's keep having some fun. No, 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 no. Oh, that's cool. Is that a Tumble Bundle sale? <gasps> Thank you for letting me know that Tumble Bundle has a sale. Let's go. I have to scam where I'm worried. It's not a scam if I didn't put a solid schedule. <laughs> My schedules, you guys know, my schedules are always subject to change. If you guys have been here long enough to know me, and know that uh, some things don't work or some things just kind of get brought up. So it was one of those moments where it's like, I got coerced into playing some more 999. I actually really like 999. I'm not mad that I ended up changing it to 999 because I was like, sure, let's go. Mm hmm. It's a, lot of, it's a lot of fun. It's a fun puzzle game. I look forward, I'm looking forward to playing it tomorrow, too. Next week, though, I definitely will focus more on Amori, because we're almost done with Amori. So I'll definitely be able to uh, come back to it next week and focus more on it. All right, let's continue. I told you not to wander around by yourself. Why do you keep disobeying me? I'm... I just... Okay, I'm just fixing my keyboard. There we go. Move out of the way, head somewhere. Thank you. No buts. You've been running away from me since you've got here. How do you think that makes me feel? I am altering the screen, the stream schedule for I don't alter any further. Pretty much. <laughs> I. I'm sorry, Harpe. No, I. I'm sorry. I won't do it anymore. I'm sorry. It's alright, miss. You're safe and sound now. Everything has how it should be. 
You don't look so well. I'm fine. Don't worry about me, Harpe. Is this is this King Clussy and the Fussy Bussy? <laughs> no, Cal. This is Pocket Mirror. And uh, I'm glad you're here, buddy. How are you doing? How are you doing, boo? How are you doing? You'll be doing all right. I'm fine. Don't worry about me, Harpe. I see. No, wait. I didn't mean it like that. No, it's all right. I know exactly what you meant, my girl. Harpe, I... Well then, let's get... Let us go. It's getting quite late. We should hurry. Uh, all right. But before we do, there's something I want to ask of you. What is it? I want to hold your hand to make sure you don't get lost again. May I? No. I I'm all right like this. I won't get lost again, so... I see. That is fine, my girl. I'm totally gonna get lost again. I just... I don't want to hear it. You got bribed with iced coffee not to tell somebody your, ter your, your manager used an unironic term? That's hilarious. So how was that, hi so how was that iced coffee? Let, let us go, it's getting late. Press either interact with characters in your party. Oh. Pierced by a pair of golden scissors, the chessboard lights shattered on the ground. Alright, so Harpe is going to just be like following me now, because she don't trust me. But to be fair, I don't trust her either. I don't trust this bitch. Shattered to pieces, this once fancy lady lamp lies in shambles. A broken chandelier that we're probably not going to comment on. Okay. Shattered plates. Okay, E. Harpe, can I ask you something? I'm having it tomorrow at, uh... Um, so naturally I'm telling you, I don't drink the iced coffee tomorrow before dinner. Where's the hot coup d'etre? Junibio Goth maid. Uh, don't have one. Yet. I'm having it tomorrow at D.D. The double shot espresso. Is this corpse party? No, this is pocket mirror. Yes, of course. Are you hiding something from me? No, I'm not. Mm. Everything I do is for your own good, my girl. Lies! In slander. It is. She's lying. I, wouldn't, I wish you wouldn't question my actions. I have full reason to do so, Carpe. The last, the last girl, the last couple of girls I've met, they've tried to kill me in some way, shape, or form. The painting of a group of people carrying a small coffin to a lake. Oof. There's so many strange paintings in this place. They've been here for a long time. I don't know them all. Is it corpse party? Better put up your pooper in my right corpse party. This is not corpse party, but it is scary. It's a scary game. Oh my god, my eyes are watering. I don't know why. I think it's just because of my allergies. I did not take allergy medicine this morning. Because I figured, oh, it's going to rain today. It shouldn't be that bad. But, uh, hot people can't lie. And, yeah. Hot people absolutely can lie. Sorry, I'm still having breakfast. Mm. Hot people absolutely can lie. I've seen it happen all the time. I see. I'm not holding her hand because then she's just going to guide me away. An old cage rests empty in a corner. Its surface covered with a thick layer of dust. Probably was a bird in there at some point. A very dark forest consumes the canvas as if tainting it in black. Hmm. Moldy dolls. Two dolls rest next to each other. One of them with his part with part of its head completely crushed. Oh, that's unfortunate. Is everything all right? Oh yes, just to remind you, remind you guys, Harpe is partially blind, so I do not think uh, she just, she doesn't notice everything around her, us as, uh, around her as, uh, as we do. But she is aware of like everything, I guess. There's so much junk. Yes, I remember having left this room rather disorganized. This is a bit more than disorganized. I'm aware of that, miss. Sorry. That is fine. Now let us hurry. She is... Yep, she is blind. Huh? This wasn't here before. 
And this is how she gets around, too, because everything is... Like, I know that's a trick that a lot of people with limited sight or blind people do. Ha, uh, do the little the little a little trick that they keep everything in exactly the same way so they memorize the layout. Harpe is blind, by the way, so uh, she's probably gonna be disoriented because things are not where they were apparently supposed to be. Wait, Harpe, let me help you. Oh no, I'm fine. I remember this room like the palm of my hand. But let me just make some room for us to go through. It won't take long. Yep, there we go. See. Why are things so out of place? Hi, Black Dust! Hello, hello! Take two. <laughs> the people that have arrived. Welcome, Black Dust! How you doing, buddy? I hope you're doing alright. I guess I'm fine. Mm, I'm gonna help her. I still wanna be in her good graces, but I just don't want her touching me. Just let me help you. Suit yourself. She's not... She's not happy about it, but... Okay, so we gotta memorize this. Piano. Push. Okay. Can we go this way? I cannot, so we have to go back up. There we go. Should be able to keep moving that there. Should we move this inward? Let's speed this up a little bit. Huh? Hello, hello, hello. It's okay, Chad. How are you doing today? I'm all right. I woke up a little late because I was EB. But, oh, shit. On a brick. Okay, so we gotta push this. Uh, oh, do we... All right, so that's... I think that just... I think that just traps us. Yep, that traps us. So that's... I guess that stops our pay from coming this way. It would stop Harpe from coming this way. Oh, I fucked up. Okay, well, whatever. Uh. I'm done, Harpe. Oh, she made it over here. Cool. I see. Let us go now. Okay. Uh, but yeah, I'm doing alright. I'm doing okay. I'm just a little tired. Like I said, I woke up a little late, so I only had like maybe a half an hour to do literally everything I do during the day. You know, shower, dress, make food, makeup, all that stuff. Mm-hmm. Ah, I just finished breakfast. That was the last bite. Let's go. Actually, no, that's not the last bite. It's a little bit more. I made a cornmeal porridge, so I'm just quickly eating that because uh, I have to eat with my medication or else my makes my stomach hurt. So I'm sorry if it's like annoying that I'm pausing to eat. Mm. But it's necessary. And I take my medicine for my illness. And I have to eat or else it makes me sick to my stomach and then I'll spend the day vomiting and it's terrible and it's the worst. And then I have like a stomach ache for like three days afterwards and it's the worst. So, yeah. Fun times. Okay, have you ever played or at least heard of Danganronpa? I have ex have, I have heard of Danganronpa and I've just never played it before. Uh, but yeah, the grammar of the language is making... I make it has one interesting thing about it and that it dates back to the language it descends from. Very nice. Alright, I don't trust Harpe. I'm very uncomfortable. I hope there's a safe spot. There is a respite. Very lovely. Alright, I'm gonna save, cause I don't trust this bish. I don't trust this bish. Let's go. Respite, okay. Cool, we got saved. We saved. Old scraps of paper lying on the floor covered in dust. Lovely. What's this? Nothing. 
Come, miss, you should take a rest before we go any further. Oh, I... I'm fine, thank you. I'm fine, there's no need to worry about me, Harpe. Is that so? Are you sure? You sound exhausted, my girl. Yes, I'm sure. I'm completely fine. Please don't... Don't push yourself too hard for me. Is that how it comes across to you? What? No, I just... I understand. Let's go. Harpe! <laughs> yes? I didn't mean to say it like that. I just... I told you. I understand. Now let's go. Abandoned words stained the aged paper faded beyond recognition. As if soaked in water, the thin pages stick together hopelessly. There's a big book here. Memories are gifts to be held dearly, as they are remains of what once was the subject of our love. Inspiring, isn't it? I think it's somewhat sad. How so? Assuming memories are the only precious and dear after the things we love are gone. I just think memories are more than events to remember. Perhaps you feel that way because your own memories have disappeared. However, to me, my memories aren't necessarily joyful, nor are they something I'm proud of. To be able to accept your past and come to hold it dearly is something I cannot, is something I cannot do. But, but even so, Harpe, are your memories of me bad? No. No, of course not. To me, you are the reason why I'm here standing beside you. Oh. My memories of you are the most precious belongings. They're all I have. Harpe. Anyway, let's go, shall we? That's Harpe right there from stained glass. As if sucked in water, yep, pages are stuck together, kind of gross. Age by time, the words lay forgotten in a maze of phrases. I never did find that other, uh, hold on, let me... Oops, nope, that went back. I never did find the other wax record. I only got one, two, three, oh, I only got one, two, three, and five. I didn't ever got, I never did get four. It's interesting. So, sheet music lay scattered on the floor. Oops, I was just walking into that. The surprisingly neat envelope was on the table is glued to its surface. That was glued, so it's there. This is the kind of game. A bluff pitch from an unknown book. This is the kind of game you gotta look at everything, and I don't think I have been doing that properly like, as of late. An elevator! Let's go! Let's see. Uh, basically, the cool thing about the two. Uh, let's see. Uh, I should work. Uh, let's see. I should work on the grammar, but I'm not smart enough. So, basically, the cool thing is that there are two classes of postpositions, which this language has instead of prepositions. The one attached to the noun or pronoun, it modifies. The second is a separate word that inflicts using the possessive <coughs> possession affixes. Like nouns belonging to the main noun, that is what they historically were, so that word means for my son, and that means in front of my son. Okay, got you! I understand, I understand. Here we are, I won't take a long time, miss. Go ahead, go ahead and take a seat. Ah, uh, yes! Alright, so I guess we're sitting in this elevator. Finally. I have awaited this moment for so long. What do you mean? I knew you would come to me, miss. Mm hmm? You can now get some rest. I was starting to get tired. Me too. Poor thing, you must have been through so much just to get here. It'll be all right now, my girl. I feel like I am missing something, damn it. You'll finally be able to get a good rest and perhaps get some sleep as well. Yes, I feel like I haven't slept in days. Is that so? In that case, I'll make sure to pamper you as much as you'd like. Pamper me? Why, yes. I'll gladly prepare you a warm cup of chamomile tea, which I remember was your favorite. I also like to comb your beautiful long hair if you'd allow me to. It's so delicate it could easily break. 
It would be better to attend to it as soon as possible. Oh, I've never paid too much attention to it. That is fine, my girl. You won't have to worry about a thing from now on as I will take care of you. I will make sure to keep you from harm. <laughs> I'm here by your side and I always will be. Carpe. Look, we're almost there. Still trust you. You and I belong together. My precious. What's going on? I don't know. Oh. Oh god. Oh god. What happened? Harpe! Harpe, are you okay? Harpe, answer me! I'm fine. I presume you're alright. Did you get hurt anywhere, my dear, my girl? I'm completely fine. What about you? Can you stand? Yes, I'm alright. Come now, I'll help you stand. Mm, don't hold her hand. I'm not gonna hold her hand, I still don't trust her. Uh, no, it's alright. I can do it by myself. You don't have to worry about me so much. I see. Where are we? Harpe? Harpe, where are we? I'll find a solution. <coughs> oh no! Oh no! <laughs> We're fucked. Harpe? I'll get us out of here. I'll take care of it. Harpe! Harpe, stop! Not closing. Harpe. I'm taking action. Come now, stand up. Left four. There's nowhere for us to nowhere for us to go. But we can't just stay here, can we? Take my hand. And we'll go. To, we can go together. I'm not going anywhere, my girl. Yes, you are. I won't leave you here, Harpe. You're not going anywhere either. What? You're staying here as well, miss. No. Ah, here we go. Harpe, we can't just stay here. There's gotta be something we can... You are staying. There goes the psychosis. Harpe, let me go. You're staying here with me. You're finally here after all this time. Harpe! You're mine. Oh, there's the red eyes. We were wondering where that was. No! Uh, fuck a duck. Okay. She is blind, so she may not be able to find us really quickly. Come back here! Please don't leave me alone! Ah, uh, bitch. I'm not moving, by the way. Where are you going? Harpe! You're coming back with me, miss. Harpe, come with me! I can't. I have to... Harpe! Yeah, well, Harpe is on her own, I guess. That is a wall. Harpe is gonna have to be on her own. I don't trust... I don't trust her, man. Those red eyes. Oh. Oh, shit. Okay. Uh... A yellow flute that looks like a key, but okay, sure. It's just a item. We're gonna set that right there. Cool. Well, I, one thing I do love about this game is that its music is absolutely fantastic. Oh, word. Oh my word. Oh. Mm -mm. Okay. Okay.
Okay. Three. Red flute. Oh, okay, so are we collecting flutes now? I said three. I don't know what the... I'm gonna go back a little bit and see what the other one said. Because that was three. If that's three, then this one has to be, what, one or two? Two. Okay. That's a two. It's upside down. Okay. So two, three... Ugh. Allergies are still acting up. I should have took my allergy medicine. Ugh. Okay, so that was two. This is three. Oh wait, where's my where's my puzzle notebook? Here we go. Ah, here we go. Let's see. Open it up. Eat, eat, eat. Let's see. We got the yellow one was two. The red one was three. I'm pretty sure we're gonna find another one. Oh god, why? Okay. Oh, there's a lot of skizzers on the ground. I find that to be a theme here. Oh, uh, hi, skizzers. Ow! Did I just get cut? Oh, it's a maze of skizzers. Okay, I got it. The blue flute. Is there a number? Oh, hmm, your mother. Okay. There's no number here. Is there? I don't see one, so I guess that's gonna be a guessing game, I guess. I don't see any numbers. What was this new here? Nope, that's wall. Okay, cool. Cool, cool, cool. All right. What's this? Four little pipers live in the city, playing their songs with merry gladness. All evil was thrown away by the songs, and everyone was filled with happiness. The evil is strong than song, and the pipers pushed their luck, for when everyone least expected was the time when the disaster struck. One of the pipers bled out, and one was caught with the plague, another was struck by thunder, and one was drowned in the lake. So, pepper bled out, that would be red. Yellow, I guess, would be plague. No. Blue would be lake, so I'm sure there's a blue one. We have the blue one, so that's... Red is bled out. Okay. Blue has to be drowned. One was stuck by thunder and one was drowned in a lake. So I'm guessing whatever color that key is. I think the yellow one might be thunder. Thunder. And I guess I guess that's a purple or a pink key. That's plague. Plague. And so evil took hold of the land, spreading ruin and madness. The songs of the paper sounds forever and everyone was filled with sadness. Mmm. So can we can I go over here? Nope, I have to go around. Who's messaging me on my Steam? Cal, why do you do this? I'm gonna I'm gonna kick your butt. Black flute, so it's not purple, it's black. It just looks purple. Okay, got it. So black is plague. I'll write BL for black. Cool. So so one was okay. So one was all right. Let's read the thing again because it has to go in certain order. Hee hee has to go in a certain order. All right. One of the pipers split out. So that's just one. Oops, wrong pen. Uh, so one, two, three, and four. Got it. That's pretty simple. Got it. All right, let's go. So ooh, there's nothing else around here. Okay, so what's over here? First keyhole. It's gonna be the red flute because he the red one use. All right. Let's 
second keyhole. Okay, what is it called when I feel like I want to be a boy but not in a transgender way? I just still want to be a girl but also a boy. Not in a gender fluid way. That, that, that would be, that would be the definition of gender fluid. I am non-binary myself. Uh, I gender, I, I, my, my sense of non-binary is very much gender fluid. So, uh, there'll be days where I'm like, I'm very feminine. And there'll be days like, no, no titties for me. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, it, it definitely is. That's definitely like being like gender fluid or like gender, some kind of, some kind of gender queer, some kind of, some kind of, some, 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 something, 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 you know what I mean? All right, plague. Use. Okay. The third one would be THUNDER! I do forget that sometimes purple is used in place of black because black if being used prominently can be a little washed out. I do forget these things. I hope this is right. I might be wrong. And the last one is DROWNING. Which is blue. You can only assume it's blue. Yes. Is that wrong? Did I just kill myself? No, it's basically like I kind of want to have. I. I think that might also just. I don't know. That sounds like some kind of dysphoria. Dysmorphia? Dysphoria? What, one of those? Dysmorphia? I don't know. Dysphoria? I don't know. Because I feel that way too. Uh, that's why I'm non-binary. You know? Because I, 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 I guess that's the best way to say that's just being non-binary. Like, I, I don't know. I, I, cannot, I cannot tell you. I, I, I would say that's some kind of... Some kind of... Uh, non-binary gender fluid kind of thing I know every person is different but I'm not entirely sure like I feel that way that's why I'm non-binary and that's why I, 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 I you know I present to how I feel at that moment so if I want to be like if I feel like I want to be girly I will be if I feel like I want to be a total dude with a with a dick and everything then yeah sure <laughs> but um I, I, I don't know I do not know I'm not an expert on this sort of thing. You know? I guess it's just different for every person how they feel. Like, some people feel, like, between genders. Some people feel... Or identify with, like, no no genders. Or, like... Again, like, with people who are gender fluid go between genders. Depending on their feeling and how they wish to present for that day. How they view themselves. Oh. I don't know. I guess that'd be something you could talk to a doctor or to a specialist about. Um, so, you know, things like that. I think you could talk, you should be able to talk to like, talk to a doctor or someone in, like someone who knows more than I do, because I only came out myself a few years ago and I'm still kind of trying to figure myself out. <laughs> As one does in the last journey of life, so, you know. But there's nothing wrong with that feeling, you know. It's just a part of self-discovery. So I would say try to explore it. Get, like, a, a packer and, like, a... Or, and, like, maybe a, a binder if, if you want. Try to feel out how it would be, like, kind of flowing through um, gender representation for yourself. See how, how you feel about it and then go from there. You know, if you feel like you need to talk to an expert, like a like a doctor, like a, sec a doctor of sexuality or a psychologist or who specializes in like gender affirming care and things like that, I would suggest that as well. Um, you know, things like that. You know, it never it never hurts to talk to people like that too, because they may have more information and more insight than you know how I would, or if you ask someone else who isn't like who's not who. Just doesn't think about it a lot. Like I just am who I am, so that's why I don't think about it. I'm not gonna talk to Doctor Brass is gonna go to jail or talk to anything about part of Oh yeah, that's right, you live in a different part of the world. Ah uh, I don't know. Ah uh, 
That's right. Ah, oh, that's so shitty. See, I think I think that's my American privilege showing, and I'm so sorry about that. <laughs> I'm so sorry about that. That's my own. Uh, that's my own accidental ignorance. Because I forget that some places in the world do not do those sort of things. I apologize greatly. But also, <laughs> excuse me. If you ever have the uh, freedom and the ability to go to a country where you know you can get LGBT and gender affirming care, I highly recommend doing so. Um, but I can understand that. But in my in my in my in my in my humble limited experience opinion I uh, I think you're I think you fall under the umbrella of gender fluid or gender queer it's definitely it definitely non-binary is definitely a huge non-binary is definitely a huge uh, umbrella term for a lot of differently for different a lot of, for a lot of people who don't fall within the, n the normal binary of boy or girl you know that also that also applies to trans people too because you could be a trans man or a trans woman you know like, trans is a big umbrella. Non-binary is a smaller umbrella under that big umbrella. And then there's a whole bunch of other little umbrellas under non-binary. So it's like... It's like it's like a whole gr infograph of, like... He is trans, and then under trans is non-binary. And under non-binary is gender fluid, gender queer, ace, agender, this, that, third... Like, you know what I mean? It's, it's a lot. It's a lot. Uh, Thailand is probably the only Southeast Asian country to accept the gays. They're so lucky. I, I mean, I guess. I mean, it's... it's I don't understand it personally because I'm I guess I'm the type of person that is like as long as no one's getting hurt who gives a fuck kind of mentality of like you're gay you're not hurting anybody it doesn't affect my life in any way who cares you know what I mean same with like you know trans people like oh you're transitioning to be your authentic self you're not hurting anybody you're making yourself happy and you're just living your life who cares you know what I mean it has nothing to do with me <laughs> But at the same time, it's like, I understand. It's like, I don't know, it's just so silly. It's so silly when people are like, oh, being gay is bad, being trans is bad. No, it's not. It's just people being themselves. You know, you can't help being one way or the other, you know? It's like, it's like you can't help being straight. Like It's like, it's funny, because like, people who want to argue that being gay is unnatural, they want to, they, I have to, I always come back with the argument of, um, oh, but you're straight. You know, it's like, yeah, I was born that way. It's like, so, people are also born gay. It's like, it's like that, it's like, you have to make the argument, it's like, being gay is not a choice. A lot of people keep thinking it's a choice. It's not a choice. It's either you are or you're not. Who would choose to be gay? You know, it's like, who would choose to be straight? You know? Only people who want to think it's a choice are people who are afraid to confront their own sexuality. You know? It's stupid. Being gay is not a choice. Being trans is not a choice. You know? People don't understand that, and that frustrates the hell out of me. So whenever I hear anything that's anti-LGBT, I'm just, like, already defensive. Because I'm like, bro, people can't help being born liking who they like or feeling how they feel. Or identifying how they identify. Like, that's that, that's not up to the debate, you know? You can't tell me, oh, you shouldn't be attracted to women because you're a woman. It's like, why? Women are pretty. And it's like, so, yes. But and then, then people bring religion into it, which completely nullifies and de and devalidates anything, any argument any person has against being, about, against against gay people. Because it's like, so you're just using, so you're just, you're just trying to justify that you hate people who are different than you because you can't seem to understand it. Or you don't want to understand it. Or that you do understand it, you're just full of hate and bitterness because you're self-hating. Or you're just very ignorant to the whole idea that you know, people can love without having it be a part about the sex, you know? Because that's what, that's, that's the biggest argument. Oh my god. I'm gonna go on a whole ass rant. This is the biggest argument about people. I can go to, I can go get Harpe now. Yes. No, you don't want to go get Harpe. She's right there. <laughs> She's right there. She's gonna kill us. It's like, you know, it's like, I hate homophobes and transphobes and her five roommates. So do I. So do I. Some of the most amazing people I've met in my life are either queer you know, they're part of the LGBT community, that they're trans or queer. You know, they're all and they're all just people, man. Like you know, like love who they just love who they love. It's like a lot of people want to equate love and romance and relationships to sex. And that's not always the case. Like, you know, 
that's all. And pe- when people talk about love and romance, they talk about pregnancy and families and sex. And I'm like, same with trans people too. They talk about trans people. I'm like, oh, but what about what's in their pants? Like, why do you care about their genitalia? That just makes you a creep. Like people, like every time I, you know, I talk to a, a, one of my trans friends or I hang out with any of my trans friends and some creep wants to be that kind of person and be like, oh, but you'll never be a real blank, well, you know, whatever, real man or real woman or whatever. And they're like, they are a real man or a real woman, you know? Sex and gender are not mutually exclusive. You can definitely be a female by birth, but be male by gender. Same with being a male by birth, female by gender, you know? Gender and sex are not synonymous, okay? You can be you can be assigned female at birth and have female genitalia, but present as a man. Perfectly fine, you know? But a lot of people were like, oh, well, if you're a dude, what's in your pants? I'm like, why do you want to know, you fucking perv? Like, that's my response. Anytime I'm male presenting, um, someone, and someone wants to be a dickhead and be like, oh, are you a girl or a boy? I was like, I'm neither. Oh, but then what's in your pants? I'll be like, you're a fucking pervert. Why do you want to know what's in my pants? <laughs> you know? I say, and I say that loud. I live in a very big city where there's cops usually all over the place. So if anyone wants to start that shit with me, I'd be loud. I am a very... I am Latina. I am loud. <laughs> you guys have heard me be loud just for pure happy excitement. Get me pissed off and watch how loud I'll be. I will make a whole ass crowd come over here and embarrass the hell out of you. You know? And he's, like, that's how I am when it comes to these kind of issues. I'm like, why do you want to know what's in my pants? You're a fucking pervert. Blah, blah, blah. Like, 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 that's none of your business. <laughs> or I go on the opposite end and make them extremely uncomfortable. I'll be like, wait, you wanna, why, you want to sleep with me? <laughs> you want to figure out if I have a dick or, <laughs> or, the, other, or the other end? <laughs> and I make, make, make homophobes and transphobes uncomfortable. Especially the trans folk. Make them uncomfortable. Unless they're violent. Because if they start acting violently, then just get out of there. Because it ain't worth it. It ain't worth pissing off somebody who, you, who who can be violent. You know? But at the same time, traumatize them back. Just just do that. Like, if someone wants to make a little little smart-ass, you know, comment about... A smart-ass comment that's kind of homophobic or transphobic. Just traumatize them back. Be nonchalant about it. Be like, oh, what's in your... Are you really a girl? Then what's in your pants? Oh, you, know, you want to find out? Why? You want to fuck me? Because we can go. I know a nice hotel. You know, they'll get pissed off and flustered and be like, well, you ask me what's in my pants, bro. I can only assume you want to... Like, traumatize them back, y'all. Just, just traumatize them back. Even if you're not gay, traumatize them back. You know, if someone gives you shit for hanging out with a gay person, you know, traumatize them. Um, what the flip? Because I'm, I got on a rant about people being shitty. Just people being shitty. Hi, Wasabi. <laughs> I got on a rant about, about people being shitty. Because it's like, it still amazes me parts of the world can't accept the LGBTQ plus community. And I'm like, that's so stupid. It's so ass backward. It's so... It's so... Ar- it's so... What's the word for it? I'm super straight. Good for you. You can be straight and still be an ally. I have a lot of straight friends who are allies. It's just, it's just, I just find it stupid. That's all it is. I'm fixing myself up here. Hold on. I'm just, I just find it so stupid. People be like hating other people for no reason other than who they choose to be attracted to. Or rather, who they have no choice but to be attracted to, you know? Also, Wasabi, it's Paperface's birthday, so we're shouting out Paperface's birthday. Happy birthday! Oh, shit. My headphones fell off. (laughs) I got too excited. I got it. Too excited. Uh, and the people who support per- parental rights until they until the second they see a parent affirming their queer kid, yeah, because like I don't know where that mentality of oh you're 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 justifying your child uh, your child's uh, gender identity or their sexuality, you're a fucking pervert. Like why am I a pervert just because my kid's gay and I'm okay with that? Like you know, or my kid is trans and they want to start kind of transitioning. It's like a lot. I'm like, it, gets me, it gets me so mad because a lot of people who are against kids transitioning, not like kids, not like young kids, but like, but yeah, little, I guess it depends on the age of the child. You know, if they're like three years old and they, they you know, you might want to get them. Like me personally, I think if you're trans, if you have a trans kid, I would say wait till they're a little older for them to start affirming. But then, but make it a slow transition, especially if they're young. If they're older. Then that's then talk to them. You know, sit down and talk to them. It's, it's not 
let them explore that. Because sometimes it can be like, oh, I feel one way. And then as they get older and they start to develop, you know, the sense of self a bit more, then they're like, oh, well, maybe not this, but this maybe, you know? You have kids? I do not have children. I have two fluffy children. I have two cats. My cats are my children. <laughs> but that's the same with any kid. Like, if I, was a pa- if I was a parent, I'm not a parent, but if I was a parent and I had human children, my whole thing would be, if you're gay, I will love you. If you're trans, I will love you. If you're ace, I will love you. No matter what kind of path you want to walk in life when it comes to yourself, your identity, and who you love, I will accept you no matter what. Because you cannot control who you love. You were born to love who you love. You were born to be attracted to who you're attracted to. You were born to see yourself as who you see yourself. You know? I would never in my life ever tell my kids, if I ever have kids in the future, that they are dead to me because they're, they're queer. Like, that's... I can't... Like, I can't understand parents who will love their kids until they're queer. And they kick them out because... Like, just because they're queer. Like, you don't... Like, to the parents who do that shit, you don't love your kids. You claim you love your kids, but you don't love your kids. Because if you loved your child, you would never do such a thing like that. You know? You would never. That angers me. Be like, I love my child, but I can't have them be queer. Then you don't love your kid. Like, how dare you question that? Because if you loved your kid, you would love them. Regardless if they were gay, straight, boy, girl, non-binary, genderqueer, whatever person, kind of person they are. You would love them regardless because they are your kid. And this is who they are. This is how you birthed them. Right? But no. It's for a lot of parents, a lot of people. Love is not conditional. It's, uncond- it's not unconditional. Love is very much conditional. Mm. And it's very, very sad. Like, I feel fortunate that I have a, that I have at least, that I have creator who can accept that I am queer. Doesn't bother him in the slightest. I'm grateful I have friends who love me just as I am. And I'm grateful. And you know what? If your family doesn't love you for who you are, go to the people you know who will, you know? Because uh, family doesn't always have to be blood. It doesn't. Family is people who love you regardless of who you are or how you present, you know. It doesn't matter if it's your parents, your siblings, whatever. I don't know. I'm, I'm getting into a whole tangent because I'm just so angry. It gets me so angry whenever something like that comes up where it's like you live, like when someone lives in a place where being gay can get you in jail or get you killed or get you mutilated or get you hurt. No, but I'm not super straight, but I'm also not gay. I'm a secret third thing. Listen, there is no, the secret third thing is either asexual or or bi. <laughs> Most of my friends are queer, so I have some very strong opinions on the topic, even as a cishet myself. Because you're an ally, Thomas. You're an ally. Because you care about your friends who are queer. You care about their safety. You care about who they are as a person. You care about their happiness. That makes you a good person. Because it's just like, you know, I, I, I don't get it, man. The people who just hate for no reason, people who are just angry uh, for no reason, for people for being different than them, I don't get it. I drive manual. I, I, I don't know what that means. I don't, I mean, I know what that means. I just, I just, I, I don't like to drive, so I, I, I know nothing about cars. Harpe, you're here and you're going to kill me. You're mad and you're going to kill me. <laughs> Oh, there she goes. I believe I told you not to leave me. Hape, I just... Why did you leave me? i just trying to help, bitch. Shit, you're blind. What else could I do? Why are you here, miss? Oh, boy. Oh, boy. You're just a hater then, Kate. I don't know. Like, I, I, dude, I don't care if you drive manual or you drive automatic. I, I just, I, I'm just not about cars. You can be about cars. I'm not about cars. And that's perfectly fine. And I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna shit on you for not, for not being, I'm not gonna shit on you for liking cars. I don't care. Again, has no, again, it has no effect on me in my life. So you do you. It brings me back, right back to my point. Answer me. I... I just... Why? After all I've done for you, my girl. I pay. 
Tell me, was it something I did? Was it something I said? I mm, pay, that's not it. What is it then? Why do you avoid me? Because you're freaking me the fuck out. Jesus Christ. No, I don't drive manual off on the automatic. I drive a single third thing. Is it an electric car? Do you just press a button and it goes boom? Why did you leave me? Harpe, please. Why do you reject me? I'm not re- Oh yeah, I have been rejecting her. I should be nicer. I should have been nicer. Am I that insignificant to you? Oh. No. Am I that insignificant? Am I- Am I that insignificant to you, my girl? No. Then what am I? What am I to you? You're my friend. I'm just trying to help you. Why can't you see that? Bitch, did you just slap me? That is not your rule. Bitch, did this bitch just slap me? Oh, hell no. Ah, oh, hell no. This is not your rule, miss. This bitch slapped me. Oh, hell no. Oh, oh, hell no. <laughs> now would be the time to get the fuck out of here. Also, is that pink hair girl a lesbian? I don't know. <laughs> I'm bi, but I don't like people in general. Well, that's fair. Oh, that's a, I don't know if that pink hair girl's a lesbian, but she's pissed. I don't trust these bitches, man. They're all here trying to be nice to me and then kill me. Oh. Oh! We're in total darkness. Oh, that's cute. That's a cute little detail. Okay. I'm not mad about it. Oh, I can't move anymore. Oh, shit! Okay. Skizzers! Harpe has skizzers! Uh, oh, is that Harpe? That's not Harpe. Is that me? Is that that bitch with the skizzers? And my pocket mirror. What the fuck? I can't move, by the way. It's kind of... Oh. What's happening? The fuck? Send her to Stony. What? Did I just die? What the hell's happening? Send her to Serbia to mine the diamonds. <laughs> Bruh. Let me remind y'all. Harpe, that pink-haired bitch, she's blind. I just want to remind you guys. She's absolutely blind. What the hell? Oh. That's Harpe. Hi, Harpe. There's... Mm. Is that me and then go? Oh god. Oh god, what the fuck? Do I have to run? Oh, I do run, but not forward. Oh god, what the fuck? I hated that. I was so confused throughout the entire time. The entire time. Oh, I hated that. Oh. To go get her pay. Procen Procenium. Oh. Oh, good, good, good. That's a safe spot. Good. Give me that. Oh, I hate all of that. Whoops. Oh, that's the door. Good. That's the door. Good. Can I say that I hate this? Because I hate this. Hmm. This sucks. Oh, it's a, a theater? Oh, shit. What the hell? I can't move. Oh, it's you! Oh, oh, it's you! 
It's the dude. He's back. A shadow isn't Shadow the Hedgehog from Sonic, as in the Ultimate Life Form. Bro, are you are you guys ready for Sonic Sonic Three? I'm ready for Sonic Three. Also, look at this spooky bitch. I love everything about their design. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. Such a tough crowd. It's you. Me? And who might that be? Pretty ill-mannered, aren't you, my girl? What? And rather slow as well. No, that's not... Hush now, you clasomaniac. I don't know what that is. Sheesh, how I hate these noisy munters. Moving on! Tonight's show is truly un a truly unprecedented sight. And certainly not for the faint of heart. Shadow, Chaos, Rouge, all connected. There's a Sonic 3? Yeah, there's gonna be a Sonic 3 coming out soon. I think this year? It's coming out? Later this year? I am hypes. Yes, be very hypes. I haven't seen the first two. The first two were cute! The first two were very cute movies. I actually really enjoyed them. Now, without further ado... Here's a tale I'd like to call... Serendipity. Serendipity indeed, hi. Alright, time to do some fast narration. <clears throat> you mustn't dwell in guilt, my lady. I don't want to shatter, Harpe. Do not fret. I shall see to it, to it in your stead. My protection is my pledge to you. Harpe. Once upon a time, Grace with the strength and loyalty was a single girl in shining armor. Yielding endurance and secrecy as her weapons, she left on a solitary journey. Indulging in demanding responsibilities in order to become the finest example of righteousness. A fastidious path to provide closure for her beloved. In order to protect what would never be hers, in order to preserve her privileged position. The maiden's love knew no boundaries, nor did it rely on selfish reasoning. A cruel yet necessary sacrifice. Such a tedious and bland story, isn't it? Playing pretend has become the latest trend, it seems. Clad in her prideful attitude, our knight in shining armor puts up the biggest shows. And quite a show it was. Oh. To bet her audience didn't enjoy her little fantasy as much as she did. You are not my daughter, she scorned. You are not my sister, he laughed. You are not my daughter, he mocked. Indeed, she wasn't. Betrayal is always best served with a little disdain, I'd say. Reunited with her tears, our heroine wept and wept, despite all of my efforts. My sacrifice. I don't want to shatter, Harpe. Promises are to be are to be well kept, not forgotten. <laughs> Same applies to one's reality, doesn't it? So is like heart pay a part of us? Oh god. Mm -hmm. Is 
the end. Huh. Okay. I forgot to find her. I was uncomfortable. Music is making me. I love this game. It's so, it's actually scary. As cute as it is, it's actually very scary. So we figured out that Harpe might just be a part of us, which also makes me think that maybe uh, this bitch before, well, whatever her name was, was also a part of us. Yeah, she was so she was so she pissed me off so badly. I just blocked out her name entirely. I don't remember who that the first girl we met was. Fletta, there was her name, that's her name. Does that also mean that Fletta is, is also a part of us as well? Like, she was the brattier part of us, We just wanted to play games. And now Harpe is like the part of us who wants to just protect us. Hi, Masa Kaiser. Hi, 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 how are you doing today? Sorry, I just finished my exam. How did it go? Did you kick butt? Did you pass? Did you kick the, did you kick the exam's ass? I hope it, I hope you did, hope you did. Like, are all these girls that we meet, are they all just different parts of us? Like, that's what I'm- that's what I'm trying to figure out. Like, Fleta, Engo, Harpe. Are these just all people who are, like, a part of us? Like, different aspects of ourselves? I still don't know how much I got. Well, I'm I'm pretty confident you did well if you studied if you studied hard and did your best. I'm pretty sure you did well. I I'm positive you did well. I have faith in you. Oh, it got creepy again. Oh, what is this place? This is hell, my dear. Welcome to it. So I guess we gotta go this way. So is this closed off? Wait, is this closed off? Yeah, that's wall. That's wall. Oh no! But all I know is I won't get a hundred percent. Well, still, if you, as long as you pass, you did your best. You know, as long as you actually put the effort in, you, sh you should. That's all that really matters. You do your best, and you can always find a way to improve. I can't. I can't. Okay, now I was wondering why I couldn't. Know that. Oh, what the fuck is this? What is this? Is this a mirror? Is this a? Is this a creepy mirror? I only studied one lesson. Ah, uh, oh, it's a bed. Are we putting this bitch to bed? Is she going night night? I won't be certain if you didn't get a hundred, but at least you passed. Exactly. It matters that you passed and you did your best and you worked hard. That's what matters, you know. And again, and if you, and if you didn't get a hundred percent, you could always, you know, you could always improve. But if you pass, as long as you pass, though. Listen, I think that humans are always subject to improvement. You know? We're never gonna be perfect, but we can always improve and practice and do better. So. So I'm sure you did great. But if you're unhappy with it, then, you know, that's it's up to you to want to apply yourself for more or not. I'm sorry I have drum lessons. It's cool. You do- Hey, listen. You do your thing. We'll come- we'll, Listen, my VODs will be here, so if you ever want to catch up, you can always look at the VODs and playlists. I have a playlist for Pocket Mirror, so you can always catch up if you want to. So don't you worry about it, okay? You go do your thing. Thank you for stopping by. I do really appreciate whenever you guys stop by, even for a little while. And, uh, you know, have fun with drum lessons. Beat those drums. Beat out your aggressions. Bye, I promise I'll try to watch your other stream, so I'm sorry. No, again, don't worry about it. You do your thing. Do your thing, Master Kaiser. I believe in you, and I'm proud of you, and you do your thing. And, uh, like I said, if you will pop by, pop back in whenever you can, okay? Don't even worry about it. Don't stress. Have fun. Hi, Kakarot! Hello, hello! It's not in school, it's in another school. Still, that's pretty cool. Hi, Kakarot! I'm doing well, thank you for asking. Bye-bye! Thank you all. Take care, Kaiser. You take care, have fun. Uh, I'm doing great. I'm doing great today. We are playing Pocket Mirror Golden Arch Charm. Let's see. Harpe? Leave. Do 
don't come any closer. Harpe, you're... Pathetic, aren't I? No, that's not... What is it you want from me? What do you mean? I've given you everything I could. Everything I have. Everything I am. I am for you. I pay. Stay away, my girl. This isn't a scene you'd like to witness. Oh, did she scratch out her eyes? No, I pay. She scratched out her eyes. Oh, Jesus. Harpe! <laughs> this is fine, miss. I was never needed. Yes, Harpe, you were- No. Was this because I was ignoring her this whole time? My existence is a mere misunderstanding. I couldn't gain your trust. Or even protect you. Harpe, no! All I've done has amounted to nothing. Oh, God. I was never able to guide you. That's not true! In the end, I was never... I was never able to... protect you. No! Not for myself. Not even from... Lisette. Who the hell's Lisette? I can't. What have I... done? I can't... protect you. Lisette. What are you talking about? Lisette. Lisette is going to take you away from me. Harpe, please. What have I done? You can't meet Lisette. Not Lisette. Harp, please. Don't go near Lisette. Please don't. Don't go near her. Wait, Harpe! Let me help you. Lisette. Lisette is. You are. Harpe! Everything I was. Oh no. Did I get a bad. Did I get a bad route? I was for you. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no, we did a bad. We did a bad, y'all. <sighs> Harpe. No, not you too. So we did a bad. I think I might go back because I think those choices actually really matter. So we're going to go back a little bit. We're going to go back a bit. Because I don't want to get the worst possible ending yet. Because this is the kind of game where your choices do matter. And I chose not to trust the bitch. So. I'm sorry, Harpe. So what I'm going to do. We're going to go back a bit. We're going to go back a bit. I'm going to save... No, 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 wait, shit, I didn't mean to go, I wanted to save. I wanted to save. So we're gonna go back to Hollow. We're gonna go back to Hollow. Okay. I'm gonna trigger the knocking that's here. Yep. You can hear a strange noise coming from the wall. So I, I'm definitely going to be backtracking a fair bit because this game is long. This game is very long. So what's going to end up happening is that I will be backtracking a bit because I don't want to get the worst ending. You know me, you guys. I'm always going to strive for the best possible ending. Mm-hmm. Yes. <laughs> Excuse me. Mm. I beg my pardon. I'm so sorry about that. <clears throat> What's the sound? 
You're leave oh, you're leaving, Paperface? You go get your sleep. Happy birthday, and I hope you have a wonderful rest of it. Take good care and get some rest. I'll be seeing you. Hopefully you come by tomorrow, because I'm doing another stream with Cal and Frost Hill. We're going to go back to the nunnery games, which is a lot of fun, so I hope you can stop by. All right, take care. Good night. Sleep dreams. Sleep well. This wall is hollow. Yep, it is. We're going to rip off the wallpaper. It makes me wonder, if we didn't rip off the wallpaper, we kind of just left? What if there was no good end? There's always a good end. Oh yeah, we can't leave. Okay, good. I'm glad. I'm glad we can't leave. I'm glad we're stuck here. If there's no good end, then we get the best possible ending. Maybe the good end is the friends we made along the way. All right, we're gonna skip through this dialogue to get to the to get to get to the to get to the messages that really matter. Let's see. Of course I am. What happened? Are you hurt? No, not at all. Mm. Leave me be. Okay. We won't help you. You said you didn't want my help, but I want to help you. So okay, we won't help you then. Are you sure? I can help you if you need me to. Yes, I am. Okay. Please stand oh, back a little, miss. All right. I would very much appreciate it if you didn't underestimate me, my girl. Yeah. I'm going to skip through familiar dialogue and read the new stuff, okay? So, let's go. I'm sorry, Herpe. I was just worried. And where have you been all this time? I told you not to wander around by yourself. Why do you keep disobeying me? I like how her face appears before the rest of her body does for a portrait. So it looks like an emoticon. I know. I, I think that's just a little a weird little a little a weird little loading glitch for the AP, for the PNGs. I think it's cute. I think it's cute, but also at the same time, ah, uh, you know, a little creepy. I'm. I just. No, but you've been running away from me since you've got here. How do you think that makes me feel? I have been kind of running away from her. Uh, I... I'm sorry, Harpe. No, I... I'm sorry. So we're gonna skip through this a little bit. I won't do it anymore. I'm sorry. It's alright, miss. You're safe and sound now. Everything is how it should be. Mmm. Mmm. I guess her body is blank for different facial poses, but it doesn't update at the same time. Yeah! Because I'm figuring the ba the base of the body is all uh, PNG. It's one it's one it's one layer, and then like the facial expressions could have to constantly change are all in different layers. So I guess it's like when they loaded all the information into the game, like for the PNGs, it just kind of it kind of staggers a bit for the facial expressions and the body to load up. It's not that big of a stagger, but it's it's enough that you can notice it, but not enough that it actually takes away from the game. You don't look so well. I'm oh, fine. Don't worry about me, Harpe. I see. No, wait, I didn't mean it like that. No, it's all right. I know exactly what you meant, my girl. Harpe, I... Yep, let's go. Alright, should I hold her hand this time, y'all? Will she let me move around on my own? Uh, you know what? Yeah, sure. Hold my hand. Of course. Thank you, miss. Oh. So what's different about this? What happened? Hmm? Is something wrong? I, uh, I don't know. What do you mean? Is everything alright? Yes. Perhaps you're just tired. Come, let's go to my room. We still have quite a bit to catch up on. Your room? Yes, you seem to be tired, and I think you could use a good rest. I... I would also like to brush your hair- Oh, did I just fuck up? I remember, it's such a beautiful color. Well then, let's go. Oh! Okay. So, I was, gonna, I was worried that she was gonna take the lead and I wouldn't be able to move around. So, okay. I know there's nothing really in here to look at. Everything is kind of dark, dusty, dank, and broken. 
Oh, there's Skizzers. So, so who the f is Lisette the girl who keeps trying to run after us with scissors? Because uh, that's the only other girl we've met, and we don't know her name. You know what I mean? Oh. I'm not gonna comment on how disgusting this room is. That would just make her feel bad. <laughs> There's so much junk. Yes, I remember. I remember having left this room rather disorganized. This is a bit more than disorganized. Yeah, I'm aware of that, Miss. Sorry. That is fine. Now let us hurry. Yep, there it is. Yes, I guess my body is blank for different facial poses, but it doesn't update at the same time. Yeah! Like, that's how I drew my PNG, like the one I'm using now. So that way, whenever I'm speaking, it changes. But it doesn't always change all the time. So, sometimes it can be a little funky-wonky. Um, depending if it's picking up or not. What, ha what happened to Squeaky Princess? Oh! Uh, she went to take a nap. With her friend Fleta forever. But yeah. So that's what I would do. Like, I drew the base body. I drew the static pieces, like the glasses and everything else on separate layers. And then, like, with my eyes and my facial expressions, I would draw, like, my static, like, open eyes, mouth closed. Like that. And then in another layer, I would make. I would. And then on another layer, I would make this um, happy face pose. And then it just goes from there <laughs> so that way it switches between layers whenever I speak but in this case it's more like every time there's dialogue the expression is supposed to switch and change um, so that could also cause the glitch for the facial expressions to change like the eyes the mouth the nose expression shadows things like that I guess it's just a different kind of loading but essentially it's the same kind of kind of the same makeup you make me do the panic come panic meme. Okay. I did the do what the way the way the how? I don't know what that is. Oh, panic calm. Then panic some more. I got it. Okay. That took me a second to register. I haven't seen that I haven't seen that meme in a little while. <laughs> oh, this wasn't here before. What do you mean by sleepy forever? She went to take a nap. For as long as she needs to take a nap. Oh, why am I loading so weird? Go back. Thank you. Oh, this isn't here before. Yep. My heart pain, let me help you. Oh no, I'm fine. I remember this room like the palm of my hand. But let me just make some room to go through. It won't take long. Ouch. Why are things so out of place here? Oh, you're alright? Yes, yes, I'm fine. Let's not help her, because she does not like... She doesn't like feeling useless, so we're not going to help her. Just please be careful. There's no need to worry about me, my girl. I'll get us both out of this mess, so please wait just a little bit longer. Alright. Yep, we'll just let her do the thing. Let that do. Well, we let her pay do the thing that that do, she doesn't feel useless. Oh, so that's the way she did it. I went the whole other direction. Yeah, I went the whole other direction. Oop. And I can just push this over back again, and there we go. See, I did it all. I did it by myself. I was worried about you. Harpe, I was worried about you. You could have gotten hurt. Is that all? Oh. What? No, in fact, I don't want to know. Wait, what are you talking about? Oh, it's nothing. I was just talking to myself. Come now, you must be tired. Harpe. Yes. No, it's nothing. Let's go then. Uh, I don't know if that was the right choice, but you know what? Oh, well, she's not dead. I mean, I, I don't know about that. Respite. I'm not going to save up until the last moment. So, in case we have to come back to this again. So your face is like one of those Lego heads where you rotate for a different expression. Uh, 
no, but it's, it's kind of the same principle in a way, I guess. All right, so yeah, we're not gonna save just in case. Come, miss. I think you should take a rest before we go any further. Oh, I. We'll take a rest. Fuck it. We'll take a rest. Yes. All right. I'm gonna be listening to Harpe from this point on. Harpe. Yes. What is it? Perhaps you like some tea? Unfortunately, I can't. No, I'm fine. I'm just worried. Oh, my poor girl. I told you everything will be all right. There's no need for you to worry about anything. I'll always be here for you. No, Harpe. I'm worried about you. What do you mean? You've been acting strange. As if you're not the same Harpe I first met. I don't understand. I'm sorry. Have I done you wrong in any way? I... Mm, well, to this point, no, but... Mm. You haven't done anything wrong, Harpe. I'm simply worried about your well-being is all. Am I not reliable? You are! That's not what I'm saying! I don't want you to get hurt, Harpe. Hurt? I, I don't want you to get hurt because of me. Unfortunately, I think I might be a bit too late by now, my dear, my girl. Oops. Oops! I actually clicked out of the game window. Oops, my bad. Then I want you to stop. Stop? You don't have to go to such lengths for me, Harpe. I do appreciate your feelings, but letting you go is simply something I simply cannot do. Why not? Why can't you? I don't understand. What's so special about me? I just don't understand you, Harpe. Because you truly are special, my girl. You're special to me. But why? Because you're the one I have sworn to protect. You are everything to me. And as difficult as it is to live up to my role, I will keep it as my own. Your happiness is my happiness, no matter which path you choose. Harpe! This is all I ask of you, my girl. Please, don't take this away from me. I hurt myself today to see if I still feel I focus on pain the only thing that <laughs> Yeah, it do be that way. Thank you, miss. For what? Uh, I all I did was upset No, I'm grateful for your concern. Anyway, it's getting late. I'm sure you've had enough rest for now. Ah, uh, yes! You truly are kind. What? Did you say anything? Oh no, I was simply talking to myself. Mm. Well then, let's go. Cool. She's letting us have the lead. In the... Uh, ding! Let's go. Here, here we are, and we'll take along now, miss. Go ahead and take a seat. Uh, yes. Finally. I've awaited this moment for so long. Blah 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 blah. What do you mean? I knew you would come to me, miss. Can I get some rest? I was starting to get tired. Oh yeah, so this is the same dialogue. Poor thing, you must have been doing some luck to be in here. But it'll be alright now. You'll find me able to take a rest and have some sleep as well. Yes, I haven't. I feel like I haven't slept in days. Slept. Uh, pamper me. Yes. Blah blah blah. Comb my hair. I'm fine. Blah blah blah. blah. Make sure you keep you safe from harm. I'm here by your side and I always will be. Lovely. Look, we're almost there. And we do the drop, 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 drop it low, drop it low. Ah, the red heron. Oh wait, are we actually going to be able to make it this time? 
You and I belong together, my precious girl. Oh! What's going on? I don't know. Please keep calm. I'm sure... Oh. Oh, no. Oh, God. What happened? Harpe! Harpe, are you okay? Harpe, answer me. I'm fine. I presume you're alright. Did you get hurt, hurt anyone, my girl? I'm completely fine. What about you? Can you stand? Yes, I'm alright. Come now, I'll help you stand. Hold her hand. Thank you, Harpe. Are you sure you're alright? Uh, yes, I'm fine. Where are we? Oh, that's uncomfortable. H Harpe! They're playing elevator the Gmod then. How was the fall? It was brutal. I feel like we fell several stories. That probably doesn't exist. Harpe, where are we? I'll find a solution. Mm. Harpe? I'll get us out of here. I'll take care of it. Harpe! Harpe, stop! Mm. They're not closing. Harpe! Let's appeal to her this time instead of taking action. It will be alright, don't worry. We'll just have to keep going. I'm sure this will lead us somewhere. It won't lead us anywhere, my girl. There's nothing for us out there. Why do you say that? Let's just stay here for the time being. Nothing good will come out of wandering around. We can't just stay here. This is an order, miss. Harpe, I can't sit here and wait. But you will. No, Harpe. I'm sorry, but I can't. Where do you think you're... So we were nicer to her this time. We weren't just straight up ignoring her. Mm. Where am I? We're in the basement. <laughs> in a place where we shouldn't be. Come back here. Please don't leave me alone. Can I go back? I can't. I can't go back. I tried. Where are you going? Harpe! You're coming back with me, miss. Uh, Harpe, come with me! I can't. I have to... Harpe! Okay, what was that spooky ooky shit? Oh. One. These are numbers. There's numbers here. This is one. We had two, three, and four. I can't go back to Harpe, so... Not for the lack of trying, so this is one. Oh, this is two. Okay. I'll take that. Thank you. Okay. This is three. Thank you. Nothing else down here. And there's skizzers here, which I hate. Ow, your bitch ass mother. A blue flute. Yep. Bum 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 Cool, so let's do this again. So the first keyhole. Alright, we're 
we're gonna do this all over again. The first keyhole is red. Lovely. Second keyhole is black. Very nice. Lovely. Third keyhole is piss yellow. It's a thunder! And the last one is blue. Um, yes, it's blue. For drowning. I do believe that is correct. It did a thing that that do. Let's go. It worked. Now I can go get Harpe now. And she just appears in the shadows. It's mainly for any of that, my girl. Harpe. Oh, she's pissed. Well, understandably so. I believe I told you not to leave me. Hey, I just... Why did you leave me? Hmm. Does this end up with the same bad ending? I'm, I'm gonna be sad. Why are you here, miss? Uh, where already did this? Oh, answer me. I... I just... Why? After all I've done for you, my girl. Harpe! Tell me, was it something I did? Maybe. Probably. Most likely. Oots! <laughs> Oh, the sneeze that wasn't quite a sneeze. It kind of just, it was like, it was about to be a sneeze and then it kind of just like, petered off before it completely blasted off. Whew, that was weird. I don't like that feeling. It looks like someone's in trouble. I'm in trouble again. That's not it. What is it then? Because we went to this dialogue already. Why do you avoid me? Why did you leave me? Harpe, please. Let's see if there's anything different. Why do you reject me? Harpe, stop! <laughs> Am I that insignificant to you? No! No! What am I? What am I to you? You're my friend. I'm just trying to help you. Why can't you see that? And she still slaps me, this bitch! That is not your role. Oh. So what's my role? To be a helpless little lamp that you can try to protect, Miss Blindy Blind Pants. Disclaimer: I have no problem with people who are blind. I'm just saying. This, this, she, she, hey, how can you? How can? How can? How can you? How can? How can you? How can you protect somebody if you can't even see them? You know? I'm sure you can, but it's like difficult. Harpe looks like the trail for walking. <laughs> some point, oh yeah. Harpe, please don't rip out your eyes again. Please don't rip out your eyes again, Harpe. I tried being nice. Cause if if we've if we've messed up already just like earlier in the game, then I'm pretty sure we're gonna have to do a lot more backtracking than this to uh to kind of uh make it up to Harpe. I hope she doesn't rip out her eyes again. That was uncomfortable. Hmm. We're back at this again. Uh, Arg. Okay. Ding dong dong ding dong dong ding ding dong. One thing I can say about this game is that it has some seriously great atmospheric music to make you very uncomfortable. Like, I am so uncomfortable. Even though we went through this again. 
Mama. Brother. Papa. All dead. <laughs> Lovely. Heart pain. And then of us. The, I don't know. I don't know, y'all. Excuse me, that was a yawn. Oh. I have to go get heart pay. I guess we're back here again. I'm gonna save in the same spot we saved in last time. Hopefully this time we're not cutting out heart pay's not cutting out her eyeballs. Oh, we're back at this again. Mmm, lovely. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. You're back at it again. Such a tough crowd. It's you. And we're gonna skip. We're gonna skip through dialogue, by the way. Do I want to turn on sticky keys? No, fuck you, sticky keys. And that's not. Blah 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 blah. We're back to the show again, everybody, ladies and gentlemen. No further ado! We've already done this part. Serendipity. All this is very serendipitous indeed. Am I gonna redo this dialogue again? Probably if it's different. You mustn't dull in guilt, my lady. I don't wanna shatter her pay. Do not fret. I shall see to it in your stead. What the fuck are my cats doing behind me? Oh, they're just playing. Better butter up those keys. <laughs> it's my keys need a little lubrication indeed. Alright. We're gonna skip this because we've already seen this. Hi, Pei. I gotta find her. Yes, yes we do. Hopefully this time she didn't rip her fucking eyes out. One can only hope. So we're gonna skip you skip through that, because we've already seen it. Okay. Sorry, I was just like my hand fell asleep. I was leaning on it too hard, so I'm just pat I was just uh smacking it awake a little bit, just giving a little bit of one two. Ugh, it's gonna be- it's raining. It's like gloomy today. It's gonna rain. My joints are not happy about it. Actually, no, it is raining now. Yeah, it's raining now. My joints are not happy about that. I don't know what it is about the rain and joints. Maybe it's something about air pressure. I don't know. Running, 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 running. Lovely. Oh, do we do the bad again? What's happening? Where's our pay? Blah blah blah. Did we do the bad again? Is she gonna rip her fucking eyes out again? I really hope not. And if that's the case, then we're gonna have to backtrack even further to get all the. Oh. Well, there she's not clawing her eyes out anymore. Oh, oh no, yes she is. Yes, she is. I really hope that she's crying and not ripping her eyes out. Because if this is the case, then we have to backtrack even farther because I think getting all of those wax record roll thingies are super important. And I missed one. So we may have to backtrack a fair bit, but I will definitely leave that to the next, for the next, for the next, uh, session. Harpe? Leave. Oh, she ripped out her eyes again, didn't she? 
I bet you're pathetic, aren't I? No, that's not. Yep. Did she pull out her eyes again? I think she did. Everything I am for you. I pay. This is a scene you like to witness. Did she rub out her eyeballs again? No, her pay. She did! She ripped them out again! Let's go! She ripped out her eyes again. Truly an eye-catching moment. God, I'm so unhinged right now. Yeah, so we, so we did the exact thing that we did before, but badly. So we gonna have to backtrack! But that's gonna have to be... I'm just gonna let it happen. In the end, it doesn't even matter. And to far to lose it all. Oh, Lisette. Yeah, she's gonna start talking about Lisette. She's gonna start talking about Lisette. So Lisette has to be the chick with the scissors. So we're skipping through the dialogue because we've already done this. She ripped out her eyes and then she's gonna shatter. So that's one thing. I don't know why. It doesn't even matter how hard I try to keep that in mind and sign the rhymes. Oh, uh, <laughs> I can't, I can't. If I start, it's gonna be a problem. Alright, she's gonna shatter. So we got the bad end for her pay. Like, I would love to come back to this game again just to get the shitty endings to see what happens. But, yeah, no. We did the bad end. I can't, I have to skip this di- I can't skip this dialogue, so... We're definitely gonna have to backtrack, but we're gonna leave that for the next episode, because, uh... We're almost- we're just about out of time, and this game is long, so we're definitely gonna be backtracking a fair bit. Alright, alright, stop crying. Boo-boo-hoo. Shatter, I barely know her. <laughs> Bruh. Alright, well, shit. So, we're gonna. We're gonna go to the title. And we're gonna definitely pick this up on the next episode. Because, you guys, we're just about out of time. This game is great. We didn't make too much progress. I think I have to backtrack those wax um, record roll thingies that I have. We have to go. We probably have to get all of them in order to get the best possible. The best ending for Harpe. I'm missing one. I couldn't find four, the fourth one for the life of me. I think I may have missed it. So, <laughs> let's tune in, next, tune in next time for, uh, next time when we play Pocket Mirror to see if we can actually get the best possible ending for Harpe. So, uh, yeah. But thank you guys so much for being here. Thanks so much for hanging out with me. You guys are an absolute freaking blast to hang out with. And I hope you guys can come in tomorrow for, uh, more 999, uh, Zero Skip the Nunnery Games, 999, with me and Cal, because, uh, we've both been obsessing playing that game, and, uh, obviously, and he's asking me, are we gonna play it today, are we gonna play it today, so, like, so we're gonna play it tomorrow, <laughs> so, <laughs> but, um, thank you guys so much for being here, thanks so much for hanging out with me, remember, hug your friends, tell someone you love them, and be a force for good in the world, because goodness knows the world needs more goodness, I love you guys so very much, and I'll see you tomorrow for more Nunnery Games. Alright guys, take care and have a wonderful rest of your day. Love y'all! And I'll be seeing y'all.